Runaway Robot. <laughs> we did it! What? What? Huh? What's going on, Granny? Ichibon Confections is finally in the top 100 of the share price ranking. What? Huh? <laughs> what? You serious? That's great. Oh, boyfriend, you are amazing. Maybe we should go somewhere more private. Nah, that's okay. I'll settle for the compliments, I think. Nick! Number go up. Hey, sounds like you got yourself in the top 100. Nicely done, Ichiban. Thanks. Thanks, Nick. But it's really only because of your investment. No, actually, plenty of people fail, even with all the investments. You really were cut out to be a manager after all. It seems I wasn't wrong to believe so. I'm always willing to invest in people who bring results. Allow me to give you an additional investment each... <gasps> 50 million yen. Hmm? Ah, oh, you sure you want to give me that much? Absolutely. That amount will chump change once you reach the next level. But there's a condition this time as well. Is that okay? Of course. What's the condition? Top 50. I want you to get into the top 50 of share price ranking within the given period. Things won't go as smoothly from here on out. The shareholders will be harsher, and you're more likely to be harassed by rival companies with, uh, let's say, less than favorable opinion of you. The amount of money you handle will increase, and the responsibilities will be greater. Knowing all of that, are you still up for the challenge? Okay. You have to ask? I live for fighting against odds like that. Climbing my way from the bottom is what I do best. <laughs> Excellent. I knew you were the man for the job, Ichiban. In that case, I'll deposit the money right away. Use it carefully. I do look forward to seeing you succeed. New business poggers. Holy shit. New business poggers. New business poggers. Here we go. This is it. This is it. Property management increased from two to four. In... Employee count increased from 10 to 25. I was supposed to have 25 employees. Motherfucker. Well, I did not do that right. Well, I got a sinking feeling. Numbers go up. What are you worried about? Numbers go up. Sir, a familiar name has appeared in the share price ranking. Oh. Really? And what name is that? Ichiban Confections. Ichiban Confections? Isn't that a cracker shop on the way out? I heard some novice girl inherited it, but I never thought she'd bring it back to life like that. She's an impressive one, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh. No, actually, the girl isn't the current huh? president. What? What? Then who is? Ichiban Kaska, a former Yakuza thug who's supposedly homeless until just recently. <laughs> you mean this idiot here is... Who's backing him? It's Nick Ogat Ogata. Oh. Huh? Uh. Uh. Nick Ogata, that bastard again. What should we do, sir? Isn't it obvious we take immediate action like any good business should? Nakanawara Watari. I fucking know. I don't know how to say that. As always, I'll be counting on you to handle this. Sir, leave it to me. I'll give it everything I've got. Just don't draw too much attention to yourself. <laughs> I know. I know. All right, Mishima. Let's come up with a plan. All right. Now's when we invest. Yep. Are you sure about this? This guy's as violent as he is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's call it a trial run. Any company that gets crushed by a moron like Nakanawatari was doomed from the start. Oh, look at this motherfucker. Ichiban Kaska. I look forward to seeing how you fare. Go beat the shit out of that guy? Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Let's do our best to reach our next goal. Okay, right on. Hmm? What's wrong, Ari chan Uh, oh, it's nothing. She doesn't seem herself. I wonder if maybe something's bothering her. Sup? Hey, Ari chan if you're up for it, you want to go out for a drink? Oh, uh, with you, kuska -san? Yeah, with fucking who else? Yeah, we can celebrate getting in the top 100 while we're at it. 
We've been so busy running the company, I didn't realize we haven't gotten to talk all that much. Unless you're not up for that. Oh, no, uh, of course I am. I've been wanting to spend some time with you, Kaskasa. Oh. All right, then. Let's do it. We can go to this place called Survive. It's one of my favorite bars. It's just up the street. You cool yes. that? Sure, I'll have to get ready, so let's meet at, meet at the bar. She's got plans with chicken? No, she loves it. Cue special music. All right, so we gotta meet her at survive, chat. The rest of the crew's here, right? Sorry guys, I've been gone for a while. <laughs> It's been like four years that I've been running the business. Holy shit, that's funny. What's with the crowd? Sorry to disturb you during your recovery, Honey Amazon. Can you tell us what happened out there? Honey Amazon, have you had any further contact with Anzai san since the incident? No, none at all. Just an apology from a representative. Azai san insists the play was entirely his doing. He performed a dangerous slide despite the fact that he was in the clear already. How did you see things, Honey Amazon? That's not far off, but I don't believe he made that call on his own. I'm getting distracted. We understand that Anzai san is an old friend of yours. What sort of player was he back then? They say playing as number four next season's a fool's errand. What are your thoughts on that? There are even rumors Anzai-san will be leaving the Yokohama Shark Stars. Not leaving the Yokohama Shark Stars. Hey, he's a baseball player or not, these reporters are ruthless. Hey, please, no pushing. Ah! Ah. Hey, this shit's serious. You all right, man? Ah. Thanks. Hanayama-san, we still have some questions. Hey, aren't you going to apologize for pushing him over? Yeah, I, I didn't. Assholes! This guy's injured, and you don't even think to say sorry? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. These motherfuckers. Sheesh. Can you, you believe it? Hopeless. Thank you. Can you stand? Here, grab my shoulder. Thank you. Um, Kasuga-san, was it? I'm Hanayama. Might not look it right now, but I'm actually a baseball player. I believe you. So, that leg, that because of your friend Anzai? <laughs> Being an athlete's not all it's cracked up to be, huh? You could say that. This whole thing is really starting to make headlines. You haven't heard? Sorry, I tend to keep my distance from that stuff. From what the reporters were saying, Anzai acted on his own. I don't think so. He's not the type to do something like that. Pretty kind words about a guy who put you in a cast. We were in the same baseball club from elementary all the way through high school. Oh, damn. His accuracy's always been perfect, so no way this was an accident. But he cared about the team with all his heart. Was always a true sportsman on the field. He put the bond with his teammates above all else, even winning. I just can't believe this thing was all his idea. Even if that were true, he's still the one who made the play, right? You saying someone ordered him to do it? I'm thinking it was the Yokohama Shark Star's shifty manager. That's Anzai's team, if you didn't know. The manager? Why do you say that? Since the new manager stepped in, the Shark Stars have been locked in second place. That's not gonna change anytime soon. Hell, people were saying the new manager would have to retire before the ink on his contract dried. Unless they got a win, of course. And if they could pull off winning the last game, they probably would've won the season. So the guy got impatient and ordered Anzai to take you out. I'm guessing there's some reason Anzai couldn't say no, right? That's what I'm thinking. Ishii's next but business venture is bodyguard. Did it on his Pretty own. good at it. Speaking of which, I'm surprised you're willing to hear me out. Anzai's basically public enemy number one right now. Even if he is your friend, nobody be willing to defend someone they knew was lying. I like you, Kasuga-san. You know what's up. It makes me think I could trust you with a favor. Oh, is that right? A favor? Everyone always has I'd a favor. I'd like you to meet with Anzai and find out what really happened. With the shape I'm in, I can't exactly hop across town. True. Meet with Anzai? But if you can't even get to him, how can I? There's a place on Hamakaze Street he hangs around in. Usually in disguise. Probably there now. 
Uh, in the skies? Are you sure you'd want you sharing that? I'm sharing because you did me a solid. Because you don't just believe whatever the mob believes. Rare thing. Uh, look, I'll make it worth your while if you help me out with this. Sure, dude. I'll get to it eventually. <laughs> like I'm gonna say no after all that? Yeah, fine. I'll go ask him for you. Ah, oh, thanks, Kazuka-san. Ah, oh, here. Let me give you this. Is it money? Photo of Anza. His looks might have changed a bit, but this should help you find him. I'm counting on you, man. Off to Hamakaze Street. Suspicious man. But I was busy. Wait, I was busy. Oh, and the suspicious man is gone. Ooh, an item. Excuse me. Wait, okay, we're surviving again. What's at the end of the street? Keep wanting to start the new WoW expansion, but then I hear something on Ordinary Animus coming. I am torn. Just play WoW, you nerd. Forgot that it came out today. Here we go. It's been all over Twitch. I should have fucking remembered. <laughs> Leg drop. Okay. Cool. You want to go? I'm up. The enemy is defeated. Yeah, if you can get logged in, I heard that that there was a bit of an issue with people getting logged in today. As with every WoW, like anything. They re-release vanilla, any of the expansions, just always, always, always that. Like, you can actually never get in. Man, I gotta talk to fucking everyone, huh? God, it makes me want to have a drink. Nice little bourbon. Yo, Sachan. You drinking by yourself? Yeah, isn't it pathetic? Sit down and help me save what's left of my pride. Huh? Everything all right? Well, you could say some stuff's happened. Okay. Oh, okay. I get it. About your hair? No, it's about a boyfriend, right? It's about the club, huh? The club. Was there trouble over at the club you run? <laughs> Didn't I tell you I taught the girls how to run the place? Trouble's non-existent over there. Well, oh, I know. That is the boyfriend. But with Nonomiya song gone, guess. you're steering this boat all by yourself. It must be hard. I know for me it would be. That's very perceptive of you. It's true there's been some small issues here and there, but I've been handling them just fine. That's not what's bothering me. Then what is? It's my sister, Nanoha. What's my going on? Intellect went up. Who am Something I? happened? Remind me, how much did I tell you about my family while we were drinking the other night? You said you were too controlling when it came to Nanoha and your dad. Eventually there was a big fight and you left home. That was seven or eight years ago. And did I tell you the reason for that fight? Yeah, it was because you told Nanoha to break up with some chump. The boyfriend with the consulting firm? Boy, getting okay, smart. Okay, so I spilled all the beans. <laughs> yeah, you did. Anyway... His name's caught Suragawa, and apparently they're still together. Damn. Oh. Longer relationship than I've ever been in. If he wasn't so damn annoying, I might let this go. But Katsuragawa's a criminal. He's even been seen going in and out of Seiryu clan HQ. Not to you mention, like no he's nice, dangerous and walks around with his own personal posse. He used to run with a biker gang. I mean, I've heard nothing but bad rumors about him since I left home. <laughs> Not a lot really knows how to pick him, huh? Shut up. I've got some girls from the club looking into him right now. I hope they can find out more. Trying really hard not to worry here since I can't do anything but wait. Ah, uh, so that's why you're drinking away your troubles in here. Yeah, well. <laughs> now that I've talked to you about it, I feel a bit better. Maybe I'll skip the next round. Oh, let's not start talking crazy now. <laughs> All right.
Next. God, I gotta talk to everyone here. So much talking. So much drinking. And I don't have a drink! Yo, Adachi-san. Hey, Kasuga! Let's have a drink! On me today, huh? On, on you? him? You win the lottery or something? Nah, I'm just feeling good because for once, I've got some money left over after sending Takashi his allowance, so... Mm. Bartender, give me something dirt cheap and kerosene strong. Hmm? Oh, she's been sending money to Takashi-kun every month. Poor kid's the son of Kasumi guy who Dachi son arrested in a false charge. I'm glad you were able to get some money to Takashi-kun. Same here. And look what I got today. It's a letter from Takashi. <laughs> I always look forward to these. He, did he pass Holy the bar? Shit. Did you read it already? Nope. I was just about to open it. Let's uh hope it says something about him passing the bar, huh? Well, <laughs> let's see what it says. Dear Yamada-san, thank you so much for sending money again this month. <laughs> What's, what's with the laugh? <laughs> that name. Yamada-san. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it now. The kid knows me as a rich fucker named Yamada. Anyway, let me keep reading. I've been pretty busy with this year's bar on the horizon. Hmm. Mm, so bar exams are coming up, huh? Yeah, I'm counting on him to pass this year. Give my wallet a break. What else did he say? I know it's sudden. Yamada-san, but oh, I have a money. favor to ask you. It's more the money. The other day when I was riding my bike, I accidentally scraped the bumper of a parked car. Hmm. Apparently it was a really expensive car, and now the owner is demanding a million yen to cover the repair. I don't have that kind of money, not even close. Yamada-san, do you think I might be able to borrow it from you? I'll promise to pay you back after I become a lawyer. Holy shit. One million to fix a bumper? Wow, how, how am I supposed to come up with that? Kid's in trouble. And what does Takashi get off asking for such a huge favor? Kid's in trouble. You say that, but doesn't Takashi-kun think you're some rich philanthropist? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I guess that's true, but shit. What's the real me He's supposed to do He's either getting scanned now? or the kid's in trouble. I can lend you some cash. How about I lend you some money? Hey, well, hey, that'd be great. How much can you lend me? Uh, I can scrape up about 30,000? Uh, okay. Then that leaves 970,000. I uh, <laughs> appreciate the kindness, but it doesn't exactly solve the issue. So, I need 1 million yen. What else is ex Yakuza Shit. good for but making problems is like your eggs? Exactly. Wait, hold on. What's up? We were both surprised about the cost. A million is just way too much for a simple bumper fix. Hell yeah. I mean, you can buy a whole car for that much. A cheap one, but still. I'd say there's a pretty good chance this is a scam. A scam? Yeah. Some con man probably parked his car on a road that was too narrow, then waited for some poor sucker to come by and scrape the car. Once that happens, the con man throws a fit and guilt trips the victim into paying. Damn. You know, you might be right. As fucked up as that is. And it wouldn't surprise me if Takashi fell for it. He studies so much, he probably doesn't know much about the real world. And most likely, he knows jack shit about cars as well. So how about this? You meet up with the owner of the car in person. Say you want to settle out of court. Yeah. If we catch him in a lie, mm, we give him what he deserves. This guy will be sorry he ever saw Takashi. <laughs> I like the way you think, Kasuga. Glad I read you that letter. Happy to help. I'll write Takashi back and ask now. for the car owner's contact info. Yeah, we'll see what's what. Man, I really thought I was in a tight spot for a minute there. <laughs> well, we're not out of the woods just yet. True. Think I'm celebrating too early? Probably. There's some high-end, classier shit cars out there on the road. I mean, limited edition luxury sports cars go for hundreds of millions. And if Takashi-kun really did scrape a car, and it was one of those, then I don't doubt the repair would cost a million. Yeah, but come on. When was the last time you saw a luxury car around here? It's gotta be a scam. No doubt about it. I'm just saying, don't get ahead of yourself. Ahead of myself? I'm just trying to stay positive. Now, how about we drown those worries of yours? I like how the bartender's just always bartender, staring at us the entire pour time. Pour us a couple tall ones. Put it on my tab. Hoping this goes well, but I can't help feeling like something's off. Yuppers! Yep, the further we get into this, the more and more I'm like, alright, the kid's either in trouble, or he's, a sc he's scamming.
I guess eventually this whole place will fill up with all of our party members, huh? And then the bar will feel really alive. Maybe, maybe then, uh, the, uh, karaoke will feel really real. Think the kid's the con? Maybe. It's possible. I mean, it's two options right now, right? Yeah, he covered up. Okay, this is right. Hey, the, the bottle of whiskey. Anything gone down yet with that legend malt? Well, I've been watching the counter like a hawk, but the bartender wasn't kidding when he said nobody comes here. Yeah, he did say this was more of a hobby for him. That's exactly it. The only option in Ichiban's the true mastermind. Friends like Adachi, He's the con. Sachan, which means that legend malt is probably just gonna sit behind the counter for the rest of our lives. I was worried over nothing. I feel better already. Well, I don't know if you should be that relaxed about it. It's not like he'd carry something he was never gonna sell. Maybe he drinks it for himself, or this guy. Welcome. Hmm. What a lovely little establishment you have. God Your damn. first time in, sir? It is. See? He does get actual customers. First time I've seen a first-timer. I've heard some rumors about this place from some good sources. Oh, yeah? Rumors about what? That you carry the fabled whiskey known as the Legend Malt. Ooh, uh... Well, then the rumors are true. Pour me a glass, then, bartender. If anyone can appreciate such a thing, it's me. Huh? Ichiban, what now? What can we do? We gotta apologize before it's too late. But I'm too broke to apologize. Forget about the money. You'll be in even deeper shit if he drinks that. I True. really must apologize, but my legend malt isn't for sale. Why would that be? Is it reserved for your regulars? Not exactly. I just don't think you're fit to order it. Excuse me. You say this knowing I'm the editor-in-chief of Good Dandy? Good Dandy? He's from Good Dandy? No way. What the hell is that? It's a rich man's magazine, full of nice cars and swanky restaurants. Well, that's terribly unfortunate. For you. For you. If you had even a modicum of customer service, I'd have written you an absolutely dazzling review. Put me in your magazine or don't. That's your call to make. Believe you me, I'll be giving you the front page. Everyone's going to know about the snob running this backwater hole. This your idea of a quarrel, sir? Perhaps, but was it not you who flung the first stone? Fine. You backed me into a corner here. The legend malt on that shelf is something I ordered for a very special customer. I don't intend to offer it to anyone but her. Oh shit. And what makes her so special? It's his dead wife. The fact that she stole my heart. Oh. Maybe that this bottle is dead was wife. to be a symbol of my affection. Time and time again, she would tell me how she dreamt of being able to try it. So I took it upon myself to indulge her and waited for her to arrive. But for as long as I waited, she never came through the door. Six months went by, then a year. Oh my God, she Until died. I finally she got die. word that she had been in a oh car accident. God. She was taken from me. In some ways, that legend malt is the only thing I have left of her. And none but drank it. Oh. Given that, are you still going to insist I pour it? I have walked through the doors of many a bar in my time. But I've never met a bartender with a tail like that. That quiet strength. The very essence of Good Dandy The magazine. very essence of Good Dandy Magazine! Oh my god. Unbelievable. <laughs> he didn't even get to take a whiff of the bottle. And now he never will. I guess that settles it. Yeah, but now it's even bigger than we thought. We gotta do the honest thing and come clean. Why? Didn't you hear that story? The legend malts a treasure of his lost love. I know, but 
I'll never be able to replace it on pocket change. Maybe I'll let you off the hook. I'll help you pay. Pay it off in installments. I'll help. Well, if you can't do it alone, then I'll help out. You, you serious, Ichiban? Yeah. All I've been doing till now is help you find ways to dodge the problem. What I should have done is help you do the right thing. Meaning, I'm just as guilty. We're in this together, man. Ichiban, you're a great guy, you know that? But I can't take advantage of you like that, man. I've got to come up with that money somehow. Kindness level five. <laughs> We're a big oh, kind ass. boy. He swallowed that story hook, line, and sinker. Come oh. again? That long lost love of mine? She never even existed. Then why wouldn't you pour him the legend malt? Well, back when I opened the place, I figured I'd need some high-end stuff behind the counter to draw in the big spenders. So I picked up an empty bottle of legend malt and filled it with bargain barrel whiskey. Girly for show. Nobody actually orders anything that expensive. But every once in a while, a dimwit like him waltzes in. So I give them the same old sob story and <laughs> they scatter like roaches. Wait, so Namba, that means what you drank was bottom shelf swill. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. Hey, what the hell's so funny? You gotta hear this. Guess what Namba did? Come on, don't say it. Don't you dare. Uh, sir, you can ignore this, Joker. <laughs> I don't understand you people. I guess it was the look of that bottle that got me thinking it was real. That ever happened to you? Or the taste is all wow. dead? Hey, just nah, be careful. you don't have to worry anymore. Fucking got. I still have to worry about people finding out. Ichiban, you wouldn't tell Adachi or Sacha about this, would you? Y you can't. I would. Don't worry, man. I, I would. I you out like that. So I would. you'll keep it a secret. Yeah. Well, you have to buy me a drink. Bargain barrel whiskey, okay? Sure. It's a deal. It's so perfect, dude. Oh, that's good. That's good shit. This game's really funny sometimes. Oh, man. All right, chat. We are going to go on our little date. In just a second, uh, we need to do stream captain, and then I'm going to take a brief restroom break.